No utilities, welcome to van life. And it's exactly what it sounds like. There are some people who are choosing to escape the high cost of rent, which is close to $1,000 per month on average here in the Valley. And 13 investigative reporter Joe Bartels caught up with a couple who says they've cut their living expenses by $1,100 a month, but it has cost them some modern conveniences. Not every van is as nice as this live truck here, but imagine having to downsize to the point that you're actually living in a van. That's a decision that some people are making because they say the rising rents are putting them in a very tough financial spot. And here is our bed. Welcome to home sweet home for Lawrence and Liz Heller. And don't forget their three dogs. Current address, this 2011 Volkswagen Rutan. After everything had gone on, we opted into the van life. That's right, the van life. Lawrence says after he lost his job this summer, he and his wife found a growing number of people are choosing vans to live in. It looks just like, you know, typical they call soccer mom van. But in reality, behind those tinted windows, people live. A futon on the floor, compartments to store clothing and food. It's got at least some of the comforts of a 140 foot cubic foot home. We have our little cargo area, has our toiletries and stuff. Our computers here, like I said, is where we sleep. Liz says instead of using her entire disability check to just cover the rent, plus her husband's part-time income from his security job, the van life gives them a better quality of life for far less money. We don't have an electric bill. We don't have rent. Um, all we have is our car payment, and car insurance, um, storage in our mailbox. The Hellers say the van life certainly comes with its disadvantages, like using public facilities for bathroom needs, truck stops for showers, snacks, fast food, or restaurants to eat, but it's saving them nearly $1,100 per month. When people define the word homelessness, it's, you know, people say, well, you don't have a home to go to. That is correct, but at the same time, you kind of do. And believe it or not, there's websites, blogs, how-to videos, and discussion boards online, all dedicated to so-called van dwellers to help others who want to live the van life on the road. The Hellers say the van life is not permanent for them. They also don't qualify for additional government programs or assistance. They say the programs they did look at actually had really long waiting lists. Someday they'd like to save up enough money for an RV, but in the time being, they keep it moving. They stay at truck stops and other public areas to avoid breaking the law. For now, Joe Bartels, 13 Action News.